Once the Lord of Light banished Dark and all that stemmed from humanity. And men assumed a fleeting form. These are the roots of our world. What Aldia is saying is that when Gwyn linked the fire and banished Dark, man became much less. He says that man assumed a fleeting form. Fleeting means temporary, so I take this to mean that Gwyn reduced mankind's existence in some way. But what exactly? Did he make them mortal? Did he place the undead curse upon them, causing them to return to their hollow state? And as far as I know, there's nothing in the game that explicitly explains what Gwyn's linking of the flame did to man. My current theory is that Gwyn actually linked the fire to humanity, which would explain a lot. By doing this, he could feed the flame with humanity's souls, plus it would explain why we respawn at the bonfire, why we kindle the bonfire, and why we're drawn to it even though our nature is inherently dark. Agdane says, In the past, humans were one with the dark. And we are one with it no longer. Men are props in state of life, and no matter how tender, how explicit, the lie will remain a lie. Men became something to be used. You can hear the fury in his voice when he says this, because Aldia realizes that men were supposed to inherit the world, but they can't, because the world seems stuck in a cycle of light and dark. Men had everything taken from them, but this defines them. They are fateless, but they still want for more. And so they loved, they lost, and they achieved all within the bounds of their desire. Peace grants men the illusion of life. While the flame is at its height and the world is peaceful, mankind seems able to die. We know this because the curse of undeath is always listed